Hello! Welcome to the Yonatech video series. I'm John Yonan and today I'd like to talk to you about inter-VLAN routing. However, we're going to utilize a technique commonly known as router on a stick. So let's get going. You'll notice here I've put together uh, a fairly straightforward scenario for router on a stick. We have a couple of workstation, uh, I'm sorry, we have a workstation and a server. Uh, we have a switch. This happens to be a layer three switch, but we're going to use it as a layer two switch. And I have a 2811 router, which has two fast ethernet ports, fast ethernet zero slash zero and zero slash one. Now, why do they call it router on a stick? Well, essentially, between the switch and the router, we create a trunk uh, connection, all right? Two 802.1Q trunk ports, one on the router, one on the switch. And this will allow uh, traffic to be passed that is in multiple VLANs. Because for this host, the workstation host, we're gonna create VLAN 10 and the server host, we're going to create VLAN 20 on the switch. So, uh, as you may know, uh, any traffic that is on different VLANs will never cross to the other VLAN unless we route. So uh, this sub interface is going to be 192.168.10 and the VLAN 20 is going to be 192.168.20. So we're just correlating the VLAN number with the um, uh, with the uh, the network number. And then up here, the router, we're going to use a single interface, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, and we are going to create sub interfaces. The first one is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10, and that will correlate to the uh, 10 VLAN, and fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20, which will correlate to the uh, to VLAN 20. All right. And then just to show you, we've got, we're going to set IP addresses on these sub interfaces. The first one on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 10, we're going to set 192.168.10.254. And the dot 20 sub interface, we're going to set 192.168.20.254. And those will be the gateways for our hosts. You'll notice here on the on the uh, VLAN 10 side, the gateway will be 192.168.10.254, this interface here. And likewise, this gateway will be on this interface here. So let's get started. We'll start out with the router interface. And <clears throat> we'll expand it out a little bit. All right, so the first thing we want to do is um, we want to go into the interface. We're already in global configuration mode. So let's go into the interface, FA0 slash 0. And we want to, we want to um, issue the no shutdown command. So we'll just say no shut. Change state to up. That's great. Now what we want to do is we want to create our uh, two sub interfaces. So from here we can just simply type uh, interface uh, fast ethernet zero uh, oops, sorry zero slash zero dot ten hit enter. Now that interface is created. Now we want to make sure that we encapsulate because this is going to be a, uh, this interface is going to be a trunk. So uh, what we want to do is we want to type in encapsulation dot one q ten enter. Then we want to give it the IP address. 
So we type IP address 192.10.254. And that will, that takes, that will um, set the dot, the VLAN 10 side. Now we're going to go ahead and type in interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 20 enter that changes the state to up we're going to encapsulate dot 1q and set it to the 20 VLAN now we'll give it its IP address. Okay. <clears throat> and that takes. Now, let's get out. Let's do a show IP route. All right, so you'll notice directly connected interfaces. So we've got 192.168.10.0, and that is directly connected, and it's associated with the .10 sub interface. Likewise, with the 20.0 to the dot 20 sub interface. So we're so far so good. All right, so we're gonna close that out. Now let's move down to our switch. We've got three interfaces we need to worry about. We've got the fast ethernet zero slash one, the fast ethernet zero slash 10, and the fast ethernet zero slash 20. But for in, in order to get these things going, what I'd like to do first Let's just open this up. What I'd like to do first is I would like to uh, establish the VLANs. So how do you do that? Uh, we have no security on these devices. It's just a test environment or a, a lab environment. Uh, normally you would have uh, security built in, passwords, whatnot. Uh, but here we don't. So first thing we'd like to do is go into global configuration mode and uh, let's let's check this out let's uh, do show VLAN and you'll notice that in VLAN 1 the default VLAN all of the interfaces are currently in uh, the native VLAN all right uh, we've got these, but these are legacy um, VLANs and really not used. I guess I don't think I've ever used them. So, um, okay, so let's let's do what we have to do here. We need to create two VLANs. So, how do you create a VLAN? It's very simple. You just type VLAN 10, enter. You've just created VLAN 10. Now we want to name it something that you'll notice up here it had the name of just default we want to name it a little bit something that's relevant to what the vlan is so we're just going to say name vlan 10. not very creative but you may have uh, a, a department like an accounting department or an engineering department uh, that you'd want to name this uh, that's relevant to the vlan all right, so that's done. Now let's do VLAN 20. I don't have to back out. I can just start typing right here. So let's do VLAN 20, enter, and let's name that VLAN 20, enter. And we'll exit out. Let's do a, a show VLAN. And you'll notice now we have VLAN 10 and we have VLAN 20, but we haven't assigned any ports to it yet. So let's 
Let's do that. Um, so let's get into interface. Whoops. Uh, interface FA zero slash ten. And we're going to um, say switch port mode access. Now we want to assign it to VLAN 10. So we do switch port access VLAN 10. Enter. All right. Now let's go over to the fast ethernet 0 slash 20, this one right here, and assign this uh, VLAN to that port. All right, we don't, have to, we don't have to go back, we can just do interface FA 0 slash 20, enter. Now we can type switch port mode access, enter, and then assign it to the VLAN 20, switch port access VLAN 20, enter. All right, so let's go check our work. Let's just exit out of here. Let's do a do show VLAN. And you'll notice now VLAN 10 has FA 0 slash 10 assigned to it, and VLAN 20 has FA 0 slash 20 assigned to it. All right, very good. Okay, we still have uh, the trunk port that we need to deal with, right? So we go into interface, fast ethernet, 0 slash 1, and let's see, we just need to set this up. So we're going to type in uh, switch port trunk. Let's just do a question mark. Should say encapsulation, right? Yeah, encapsulation tab, encapsulation. And now it'll ask for dot one Q. Let's just show you here. D O T one Q. Hit enter. Now what we want to do is we want to set the the switch port mode to trunk. All we have to do is type switch port mode trunk. Enter. Now you'll notice change the state to down and then it changed the state to up. Let's get out and let's do a do whoops do show run. And you'll notice now fast ethernet 0 slash 1 is now a trunk port. Okay? VLAN, I'm sorry Eth uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 10 is a VLAN 10 port and slash 20 is a VLAN 20 port. All right, things are moving along. So now we should be able to, let's see what we can do. Can we ping the server from the workstation? Let's give it a try. Oh. Ping 192.168.20.1. There we go. Little ARP caching there. And let's go over to the server. Do the same thing. Ping 192.168.10.1. And we are successful. 
So essentially what we did here is we created two VLANs and in order to route between them we created this router on a stick configuration with the switch, a trunk, the trunk ports, uh, setting up a couple of sub interfaces on a single FA0 slash 0 uh, port and routing between the two. If you have questions or would like uh, uh, me to demonstrate something that I haven't done here feel free to comment below. If you like the video, I really would appreciate a thumbs up and hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. With that said, I uh, appreciate uh, you spending the time with me now and I hope to chat with you on another video.